in 2016 or 17, the ministry invited us um, to apply for funding for something called Project Echo. So it turns out Project Echo um, is this remarkable tool for med- for knowledge translation, not just for medicine, but for virtually anything. It was started by this guy named Sanjeev Aurora, A-R-O-R-A, who's at the University of New Mexico. And Sanjeev is a gastroenterologist whose te- who's, um, specialty is hepatitis C. And New Mexico is a large, poor, rural state. There's only one medical center in the whole state, and that's the University of New Mexico in Albuquerque, where he was. And the majority of the care throughout the state is provided by primary care providers, that is family practice doctors and nurse practitioners. So over time, Sanjeev, and Sanjeev is this high-powered academic doc. He's made a lot of contributions to our understanding of hepatitis C in terms of his diagnosis and treatment. And he became concerned over time that the patients he was getting in Albuquerque from various and sundry points from in New Mexico were being misdiagnosed and mismanaged. And in addition to that, he had about a year long wait list. And uh, when patients were referred to him and he finally got to see them, they had to travel hundreds of miles each way every week to get their treatment for hepatitis C. So he came up with this idea called uh, Project ECHO, and that's ECHO stands for uh, Extending Community Health Outcomes. And the idea, and this basically this this evolved into a CME accredited case based learning uh, delivered by uh, video conferencing. And when I first started talking about this, this was in 2017. Nobody ever heard of Zoom. Now you mentioned Zoom, of course, everybody in the world knows what you're talking about. But he pioneered Zoom in terms of teleconferencing for uh, for knowledge translation. So basically, the idea was he had what he called a teleecho clinic in Albuquerque, which which he called the hub, and the hub consists of all the experts, right? So him, the guest, the premier gastroenterologist, a psychiatrist, a nurse, a social worker, a pharmacist, a nurse practitioner, a pharmacist. And then he had his spokes, which are really community partners, which is what we call them now. So the spokes, our community partners, were all of these primary care providers that he had connected with and and gotten to know over the years because they referred him patients, so he went to see them. And they would connect via Zoom, uh, and he designed he designed a CME accredited hepatitis C course, which ran over about a series of eight to twelve weeks or something like that, and every week. He would have uh, a one and a half hour uh, teleconference on Zoom, connect with all the community partners. He developed anonymized case report forms. So uh, the community partners would present a hepatitis C case. uh, And then the other community partners would discuss, ask questions. And then the hub team, the experts would weigh in at the end. And then recommendations would be made first by the, the, the community partners on the call and then by the hub team. And then a consensus would be reached such that the questions asked by the community partner who was presenting the case and the family who was presenting the case for would be answered. And then they go on the next case. This is how Project Echo got started. And he uh, so after a period of time or a period of few years, he began to ask the question, first of all, first he looked at the learner satisfaction and it was through the roof in terms of the community partners because they felt part of a bigger community. They didn't feel isolated. They, they began to serve as a resource for other people in the community who didn't have their expertise that they had gained. And so this kept patients from having to be referred off the bat to him. And so he, he got funded uh, to do an NIH study looking at the outcome of this in terms of patient care. And it turns out, he published this New England Journal in 2012 or something, but it turns out that he looked at the, he asked the question about outcomes of patients taken care of by graduates of his ECHO, his hepatitis C ECHO, and compared them to the outcomes of patients uh, cared for at the at the University of New Mexico in Albuquerque, 
It turns out the patients cared for by the primary care providers who had gone through his um, his hepatitis C course on ECHO did as well or better than the patients to, that he took care of in Albuquerque. So since that time, ECHO has gone viral. It's now used by the Department of Defense and the VA hospitals across in the United States for um for pain management to teach people about how to manage pain and Ontario now has 20 echoes. And uh, so in 2017, they had maybe three or four uh, and they asked us to uh, submit a proposal. We did, we got funded. And so our echo is based entirely on Sanjeev's model, which he still, which he controls because they control the, um, the trademark echo. And because they control it, they have they have really tight quality control, and it, so it all works the same everywhere across the world, and that's why it works so well. And so, um, basically, we have what's called a shared services echo model. So rather than one hub like he had in, in Albuquerque, each one of our nine district or regional epilepsy centers serves as a hub, and they recruit their own community partners. But we have we have a standard. Everybody uses a standard curriculum. So we have a standard adult epilepsy curriculum and a standard uh, pediatric epilepsy curriculum that everybody uses. Um, and the whole system is administered centrally through here, Hospital for Sick Children. So the Ministry of Health money flows through to us and we uh, provide all the IT and administrative support for all the other hubs. And we're in our third cycle now. We've been going now for three years, and it's, it's so far it's worked really well. Uh, the learner satisfaction is uh, is through the roof, and we're in the process of trying to figure out how best to um, to do a comparable outcome study like Sanjeev did.